You are the first Jets quarterback to catch a touchdown pass. When did you learn that fact? I actually heard about that today in my meeting. And we were joking about it because our other quarterback last year against Cincinnati when I wasn't playing, I was injured, caught the same exact play. It was a two-point conversion. So it technically didn't count as a touchdown. Your touchdown catch was also Nickelodeon's best play ever this week. What was your best play ever? When I was eight years old, <gasps> playing running back, yeah. I made 10 guys miss. That was a big one for me. Let's break down your gritty this week. Was that your first time ever doing it in a game? Yeah, it was. What'd you think of it? It looked really good. How much gritty practice did you do? As we practiced the play, kind of did the same thing, and, you know, it should gritty if you score. What letter grade would you give your gritty? I would say, compared to Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase, probably like a B plus. So they're your gritty role models? I feel like they're the ones who brought it to football. I read that you know how to juggle. Did you teach yourself, or did you take a juggling class? <laughs> My dad actually knew how to juggle while I was growing up i just wanted to learn how has juggling helped you to be a better football player it gives a little bit of coordination i guess but it helps. Yeah! you are known to wear a headband when you play so is there any significance behind it i really do need to wear one to keep sweat out of my eyes i kind of thought they looked cool at the same time that's kind of where i got it from since you won last week, will you wear the same headband you wore in that game this week? Probably not, because I gave it to some fan on my way out of the stadium. Thank you so much for coming on NFL Slime Time.